day. I hope y'all are doing wonderful on this July 4th, Independence Day. Um, I've never done a video exactly like this, but in the prepping phase and all that some of us are in, I seldom try some of these, but this is butter, and I thought before I go buying shelf stable butter, let me go ahead, or buying more of it, let me go ahead and open this up. Augustine Farm. I opened it up a while back and have been using it. And it's surprisingly good. Let me get some to put. This is my grits. I'm from the south, y'all. I haven't tried this in any way except in with my grits or my oatmeal. So it put some in there. It's powdered, as you can see. But it actually stirs up into your hot stuff and it melts very well. And then whenever I get my grits, I put them um, some in my working pantry. This is a kind of a sealable thing. I label them. And then I do this. So I'm liking this butter. Is it going to be as good as real butter? Probably not. But for cooking, I think it's awesome so far um dear heavenly father thank you so much for this food of which i'm truly grateful use it to for my body and use me for your service thank you so much in jesus name i pray amen always remember to be grateful okay well that was delicious all right now what i'm going to do and this is up to each one of y'all. I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to try to do. They claim that once these are opened, that they may only last a year. And I'm not even sure they're going to last a year. This is a high humidity level or area here. So what I'm going to do is get this glass jar. If you have regular mason jars, that's awesome. Get my handy dandy little canning filter or strainer whatever that is whatever that thing is and i'm gonna put some of this just right in here before it gets too clumped up or too hard or too whatever it's going to get um so let's do that Uh, it may be better even for the next time to put it in a smaller jar, which I do have a smaller one here too. Have patience with me, y'all. I'm old. In fact, y'all, I don't even think I can speak without saying y'all. That's how Southern I am. And it's unique. We also say words like yuns, which is equivalent to you guys up north. Yeah, I like creative <laughs> ways of speaking. I sort of enjoy how different we are mm -hmm. and unique each of us are. <laughs> I remember one time I went camping up in upstate New York with a friend of mine and oh my goodness did they love listening to me talk. And back then I hadn't been gone from Chattanooga from from Tennessee that long. You talk. I didn't even think I had an accent. They laughed at me. And back then it was coming from Tennessee. I mean, I was using things like crick, wash. Well, I didn't really do that, but people <laughs> they say wash. You wash your clothes. All right, now I'm gonna put some. This is oxygen absorber. I'm going to put two of them and then seal that right back up, your oxygen absorbers. I sure hope this is all getting in there. And then I'm going to seal that up. That's it. Then I'm going to, I will mark that and label it. Then I put a little bit more in here. But I just wanted to show you. Um, and again, in case some of y'all didn't see the video that I did yesterday, this is one of my handy dandy ways of sealing. Whenever I put something in here, oh my goodness. I may have to look and see if there's a bear out there. 
Um, I will cut off and I'll put instructions on here so that it'll tell me or whoever I give this to or trade it to how to cook it. But there you go. One more step in the preparing. Let me let these. My kids are crazy. I'm so sorry. I love them dearly. Oh, for Pete's sake. Joys of cheese. Chihuahuas. All right, I'll wrap this up with I thought this was a good time and a good day to read this. This is July 4th, 2023. So, this is John 8. Let's see. And I'm going to begin in verse 31. Then Jesus said to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answered him, We be Abraham's seed. That's almost like how some of us talk. We be, we be Abraham's seed, and were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, ye shall be made free? Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin. That is so key right there. And then verse 35, And the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the Son of Man, or the Son, abideth ever. 36, and I love this. If the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. So on this day of independence, on this day of freedom, I hope you are truly free indeed. Love you guys. I hope this isn't wasn't too boring. And forgive an old lady that I'm slow. <laughs> Y'all take care. Bye.